Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video we are going to be talking about EWS systems of BMW cars around this year. So it is BMW from 2004, it is X5. So I'm going to be talking about its function, uh, how it actually works, and also I'm going to be talking about the removal process, how we can remove it and why would we want to remove it. This car has, I believe, uh, EWS3. So it is the immobilizer unit. I think that it is produced with that equipment until 2005, 2006, and how it actually works. So we need that system in order to save our car from thieves or in order to stop our car to be started uh, unauthorizedly. So we cannot just cut the key and turn the ignition and our car won't start. When we turn the ignition, so in the key we have a transponder that is synced with the EWS system. And when we turn the ignition, the ignition powers uh, our transponder wirelessly. And after that, when the transponder is uh, powered on, it transmits uh, the code, the most recent code. This car has rolling code. And when the transponder uh, sends the signal, it is read by this uh, ring here, the antenna. And when the antenna picks the signal, it sends the signal towards the EWS system. The EWS system detects and checks whether the uh, code is authorized or whether we can start the car. The EWS system of these BMWs around these years is located somewhere here. I'm going to let you know the removal process later. We are going to remove it in order to program a key. So unfortunately, these cars and most of the uh, BMWs, it, it is safer to uh, program a new key by pulling out the, the immobilizer unit and program the key uh, on the bench. So that is the reason maybe the EWS system is broken something is damaged and we can uh we've got to find a way to remove it and replace it or program a new one and, and some sync a new one or something like that but in this video i'm going to show you the removal process so let's get started ews system on this car is located somewhere here so in order to do to remove it we've got to uh, so unscrew these screws uh they are with a Phillips screwdriver, we can remove the plastic and we can get access. It will be a little bit harder for me to uh, to film the process, but I'm, but I'm gonna try. I hope you can see it. But... After removing the plastic, so we have the screws here, so we have four screws in this clip here. And after removing that, we can locate the EWS. So here is the EWS system. We have two bolts, so we can remove just one of them and slide it off. And we can remove it like that. And here it is so as you can see it is it should be model 3 ah, here it is EWS model 3 so let's read it on the bench program a new key and after that we can uh, we can test the key so let's do it sorry I forgot to mention before um, un unconnecting this unit uh, we've got to make sure that our keys are out of the ignition uh, in order to avoid having some sync problems with the DMA. So it is a good practice to, before removing it, making sure that the ignition is empty. So just click this button here and unclip it. Here it is. I pulled the module out of the package. I read the MCU and now I'm going to program a new key. So if you want to learn how we can program a key, so I'm going to let you know, uh, I'm going to create a video of it if you want. Please let me know in the comments below. I read the MCU. This is the data of the MCU. I'm going to create a new key. 
and, and, and put it on the car and test it. So let's test the key. So the EWS module is connected. It's hanging here, but it is connected. Let's try it out. Yeah, it works. So let's put everything together back how it used to be. And so now we've got another key. Thank you for watching. If you like these uh, types of videos where I'm talking about electronics, programming microcontrollers, something related to locksmithing, car keys, and, and things like that, please consider subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you and bye-bye.